This is Sports News now coming in. It's the BCCI general meeting that's underway where Roger Binney is all set to be picked as the new BCCI boss. And that after Saurav Ganguly, who is going to be, uh, who's now the outgoing president. And it's Roger Binney who has been chosen. He's going to be the 36th BCCI uh, president. So it's going to be interesting how that really pans out. What we are being told as these visuals coming in are from Kolaba in Mumbai. Uh, the annual general meeting has started, of course there's a certain procedure that will have to be followed but what we are picking up is that the name of Roger Binney has been confirmed. Uh, of course there will be the issue of the ICC chairpersonship that's also likely to be up for discussion. This annual general meeting, the AGM of the BCCI uh, where Roger Binney who's been a former cricketer for who may not know uh, will be replacing Saurav Ganguly as the new board president. Remember, BCCI, it's not just about a cricket body. BCCI is seen as an absolutely uh, influential, powerful in taking uh, decisions with regard to sports and that specifically, of course, with regard to cricket. But the election that they're saying is the next set of office bearers will have to take place. Many are calling if, you know, if it's Roger Binney who's already been decided, could that be an unopposed election? You're looking at Saurav Ganguly? Jay Shah interacting there and uh, we are being told that it will just about uh, that meeting to begin. All right, uh, so what we are being told is that that Saurabh Ganguly's interaction, these are previous visuals, the one where you can see the AGM board member sitting, that's the live visual coming in from Taj Kulaba. Uh, I can see Saurabh Ganguly, Rajiv Shukla. Jay Shah, they are sitting right now in that board meeting. It's very crucial because of course there will have to be an official date. Now there was, uh, there is going to be a last date also possibly to file the nominations for the ICC top job. All of that is going to be a part of the interaction. But it is once the BCCI decision is announced that we'll perhaps uh, take it uh, to the next level specifically of the ICC. But just, just to stay with the BCCI meeting right now, 36th president is who former cricketer Roger Binney is going to be. Now, of course, there are other names as well. So we'll wait for the official announcement uh, to come in. But there are already uh, from our sources telling India today that it's most likely said to be Roger Binney to be the new BCCI president and outgoing president is Saurav Gang. Right, so that's the big news and uh, Roger Binney, uh, you know, may not have been in news lately, but for those who have followed cricket for the longest time, Roger Michael Humphrey Binney, uh, many uh, call him as the good guy. These are some of the terms that are usually used uh, for Roger Binney, but he's now likely to be elevated. It is a very strong, powerful position. This is not just about any sports body or a cricket body. This is uh, the BCCI that does have a strong influential position. So it's the board of control for cricket in India. And uh, to become the president of that is definitely a strong position to have. Uh, there have been rumors in the past as well about uh, the governing body. BCCI, many would say, is actually one of the richest sports governing body in India. And that speaks in itself of how in the past few years it has gained that influence over the cricketing decisions. Many also talk about, at least the ones who've played with Roger Binney earlier, about uh, the humility, despite the talent that Roger Binney brings on to the pitch, and that he's been a thorough gentleman, he's been a thorough professional as a cricket player as well. And remember, Roger Binney was also a part of the 1983 World Cup, had played a key role in India winning the title, so that is also going to be all of this, remember, is as per merit, the experience that he brings to the table of BCCI. It's not just about a bureaucrat becoming the BCCI president. Someone who understands the game of cricket has played it. Played it during a time when there were some crucial matches and titles that India has won. So he definitely has that experience backing him. But outgoing president of the BCCI, Saurav Ganguly, of course, who's been a skipper for the Indian cricket team for the longest time. Garnered support from Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee. She's appealing to Prime Minister Modi to send Dada, as he's called Saurav Ganguly, to the ICC. I use the word ICC here because it's not just about BCCI's president today. It's going to be next about the ICC chairpersonship as well. 
that is going to be a part of it. Let's listen in now to Mamta Banerjee, Bengal Chief Minister, supporting Dada for the ICC top position. My humble regards to the Prime Minister. Please take care that Shourab must be allowed to contest the ICC election. He has been deprived. Why he has been deprived? What is his fault? Everybody knows him, all the country, all the world. We are proud of him, not only Bengal. He is a Bengali dada, Bengali bhai, brother. But he is a pride for the country and the world. Everybody knows him. So we will request the government, don't take it politically or vindictively. Take a decision. He is not a political party member. Take decision for the cricket. Take decision for the sports.